since it is all mental. It is not real. As mind is made up of stories, illusions, and perceptions, the story that you are not good enough is based on false data. In short, stop trusting your mind blindly. And realize that you are not the mind but its observer. This comes as a shock to a lot of people. They think that they are their mind. Hence, they blindly accept all that it says. No. You can reject any idea that your mind presents. Know that you are something far more intelligent than the mind. You are pure consciousness. All that exists, exists in you. All you must do is become aware of it. Now mind will say, you are not good enough. Ask this question. Why? Always ask why to any judgment of your mind. And most of the time it will go blank. This is when you will realize that it really doesn't have any solid proof about most of what it says. We can accept or reject anything that mind says. Therefore, there aren't any real mental barriers to speak of. They are walls made of sand. And the moment you become aware of them they fall away. Mind says, you will never be successful. Ask this. Why? Then it might go blank or present some half-assed arguments. Now, does your mind know everything? Does it know the entire picture of all that is going on? Then how can it say that you will never be successful? You could win a lottery the next day. You could land a job that you applied for four months ago. You could get involved in something you absolutely love to do, hence become extremely skilled at it. You see, it is for a lack of a better word, all bullshit. It says that you are not lovable. Has it scanned the hearts of the entire population of the world? Does it know it for a fact that out of billions of people in the world, no one will ever love you? You see, the data it has is like 0.0001% of what all there is. So, how can it say that you are not lovable? How can it say that you are not attractive enough? Its comparisons are flawed and incomplete. It is just a calculation machine. So, it will keep comparing, calculating and predicting. But you are the one who accepts or rejects its ideas. Now tell me, if that is true. Then where are the mental blocks? They do not exist. Shadow world is where they lie. Ilias events lie. Yet unreal. We are spiritual beings capable of anything. So long as we identify with our divinity, rather than the egoic mind and our limited human self. We can experience anything that comes into our consciousness. Become aware of wealth and you will have it. Accept the story of your mind that you can't be rich, and you will be that. So, let me ask you one more time. Where are the mental blocks? Who is giving them validation and reality? You. You are the one who is accepting these shadow limitations. And it is not your fault. We all start unconscious, and we heavily rely on our mind to get through life. So, in ignorance and lack of proper guidance, we fall prey to all sorts of limiting beliefs and programming by the people we are surrounded with. Let me give you a practical tip. Do this and you will immediately know that what we become conscious of, we experience it. Start hanging out with people who are complete opposite from you. Go sit with a bunch of traders. Or hang out with people who are out your sea. Just present a totally different consciousness to your mind. And different life. And you will realize how much the mind does not know. You will become an entirely different person if you hang out with these people for just a month. Spend a few weeks with an entrepreneur and you will automatically start becoming wealth conscious. Start hanging out with stylish people and observe them, and you will find yourself to be becoming more stylish and more attractive. Of course, this will only happen if you are open to change and not stuck in a persona that you call yourself you. We are spiritual beings. We are faceless and limitless. All limits are only in the mind. There are no blocks for your divinity, only for your human mind. Become aware of anything and you will become it. Provided that you actually enjoy it and want to adopt that consciousness. Start hanging out with shady people and you will become like them. You become what you are conscious of being. So, limits and blocks do not exist. They are an illusion. It is up to you to decide what you want to be. Once you have decided, start filling your consciousness up with only that ideal. Saturate your mind with your ideal day and night. And in no time, it will become your identity. You will become naturally that person. Becoming limitless starts with knowing who you are. Not the mind, but divine spirit. Then start observing the mind. Know what you want to be. And then start saturating your mind with that ideal. And the universe will conspire in your favor to make you exactly what you want to be. Disregard all mental chatter that doesn't serve your new ideal. Mind is just a calculating machine, do not give it any more importance than that. Take your power back. And you will truly become limitless.